Logitech wireless keyboard doesn't work or has input lag or delay, you can find out why and fix the problem by following a set of troubleshooting steps. In this video, we'll show you how to troubleshoot and fix your wireless keyboard so you can start using it right away. If you have another computer, check to see if your keyboard works on it as the first step in troubleshooting. If your Logitech wireless keyboard works fine on the second PC, you should focus your troubleshooting on the first PC, where the problem is probably, but if your Logitech keyboard won't work on the second PC either, there may be a problem with the keyboard or with the accessories you're using, like the USB receiver and the USB extension cord. the lights or other signs show that the Logitech keyboard seems to be turning on. The next step is to force restart. Like other electronic devices, your keyboard may have a problem on the inside that makes it freeze or stop working. Just use the power switch to turn off the keyboard and quickly turn it back on. If you don't know where the power button is on your keyboard, do a quick Google search or look in the manual. Taking out the batteries is another quick way to make your keyboard work again. If you haven't changed the batteries in a long time, try putting in new ones to see if that helps. Remember that you can use the Logitech G-Hub software to find out how much power your device has. The problem with the USB port on the computer can sometimes be the main reason why a Logitech wireless keyboard stops working all of a sudden. If you want to connect the Logitech receiver or USB cable, try a different USB port. If you have been connecting the USB receiver with an extension USB cable, try connecting the dongle directly to the USB port this time. If that setup works, the problem is probably with the cable, not the dongle or wireless keyboard. Like the USB cable extender, the wireless receiver of your keyboard could be damaged by normal wear and tear, a problem at the factory, or something else from the outside. If your computer has a second Bluetooth receiver, try to see if you can use that to connect your wireless Logitech keyboard to your computer. If the wireless keyboard works with the other receiver, you could fix the problem by getting a new replacement receiver. Some people who use the Logitech wireless keyboard were able to use it again after changing the HIT startup type from manual to automatic. Follow these steps to restart HIT and change its startup type if your Logitech wireless keyboard is still not working. Press Windows key plus R on your keyboard. Once the run dialog box is up, type in services.msc and press enter. Expand the human interface devices. Find human interface device service and double click it. Click the option for startup type and change it to automatic. Click apply and hit OK. Restart your PC and check if Logitech wireless keyboard is now working. When it comes to drivers, it is important to always keep them up to date. This is true for all of your PC's devices, including keyboards, mice, and other input devices. Make sure all of your drivers are up to date. The last thing you can try to fix it is to temporarily remove the wireless keyboard from Windows. This might fix the problem if your PC can't find your wireless keyboard because of a bug in the Windows OS. To get rid of your wireless keyboard, go to Device Manager and remove it from there. Press the Windows key on the keyboard or click on the Start button on the lower left. Type in Device Manager and open the Device Manager app when it shows up. Expand Keyboards and right-click on your device. Select Uninstall Device. If there are more than one device in the list, you'll have to uninstall all of them. Restart your PC and check if the problem returns. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.